Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Horizons Daybreaker. Uh, in today's episode I thought we could start by building up that um, zombie spawner that I found underneath there where I built this little entrance to, to it and I'm standing over it. I've also built a little, um, well not a little, a normal sized nether portal and I thought we could perhaps pop over to the nether and see what it's like today if we have time. So I was wondering how we could design this um, spawner and whether I would have to use water like in vanilla spawners because I have not seen any rubber trees around so I didn't think we could do the normal conveyor belt. However, things are not quite that desperate because uh, I think it's Extra Utilities has other conveyor belts like those. I've used those before. They're actually a little bit better than the other ones. But the problem with them is they need a lot of iron. And I think there's a zombie pigment in that portal I built underneath us, <laughs> which is quite funny because we haven't been to the nether yet, but the nether appears to have come to us. Ah, why can't I ever remember how to switch this off? But yes, so anyway, before I can go and build the spawner, I think I'm going to have to go and mine for some iron. And now I found one of them right close to my base. I was just out here mining for a uh, mining for iron because I am in great need of iron. I heard the electrical sounds, I dug up a little bit and this emerged. So this has chests I think at each edge, but I'm sort of interested in what more I can find in here. Let's see if there's anything in between the chests. Oh my god! Wow! Yep, I would say there is. <laughs> I think that's enough torches. Ah! Jesus, how many of these things are there? I tell you what, this is gonna make... Okay, that looks like a... Oh, I can't even place a torch on this. Oh, I can. Okay, now symmetry... The rules of symmetry suggest... Uh, there is gonna be one here too and there is so that's what three zombies and one skeleton excellent the only thing that is rather worrying is the zombie sounds but as i said i was okay let's try not to break them Okay, so I was very pleased about finding the skeleton spawner. Ah, oh, but this is so much better. This is like a super skeleton spawner and, zom and, and zombie spawner and everything. And I'm so excited I've lost the ability to speak. Ah, this is fantastic. I hope that MRU energy thing is not doing harm to me, however, and I guess the sound is going to prove a little bit annoying, but I've already started making materials for the zombie spawner that I was going to 
Ah, so Ham is there, 133 meters from here. We are, of course, a little bit underground, but, you know, just think of the... Uh, Okay, I've only, oh no, I don't think I have the heck or sapling. Yeah, so I started making these for that skeleton spawner, but this obviously is going to be a much superior skeleton spawner. Right, I am going to dig this out and uh, do the thing I usually do, I guess, just dig down underneath, well, make a nice passage to home. And then, I don't know, I guess dig a little bit underneath. I'll put, use wooden spikes. Do we have wooden spikes in this pack? Let's see. Let's just look for spikes. Oh, please let there be spikes. Oh, yes, there are. So these ones are excellent because, oh, the extra utilities, that's where they come from. So does the conveyor belt. Uh, I think the wooden ones will actually bring them to half a heart. So they're like perfect for XP spawners. Right, I'll dig this out and I will connect with you momentarily. So I have finished building the uh, spawner and I have to say it is rather impressive. Uh, let me just put the sound down completely because they are rather loud. So yep, I, I did make those uh, conveyor belts from extra utilities. They work pretty well. They are pretty expensive, but it seems to be the only possibility in this pack. Okay, let's go and... It always scares me when I see this. And admittedly, I did leave a space for the small guys, you know, the baby zombies to come through, but for some reason they never come through. It might be the wooden spikes don't let them through or something. I wish there was a way of switching off. Ah, oh, look, we're getting heads. I wish there was a way of switching off the experience orbs because after a short while, I honestly can't see anything that I am doing. And I suppose it would have been better if I had... Uh, I'm sure it would have been better if I had made it so I could stop them falling down when I was ready to kill them, just to make sure that they all did get to be one, one hit kills, which these guys really aren't, but even so, that is a pretty impressive amount of... Uh, zombies and the skeletons and as you can see I'm gaining experience very satisfactorily I think I put this here so yes oh I want that bottle see this is the other problem with this in fact I'm gonna try and unload myself. Oh, spirit thing. Yeah. The other problem is that um, I'm not, it's not that easy to pick up the items that they drop and I really want some of them, especially the clockwork phase ones that they drop, which will make clockwork phase work better. So one thing that I am considering is putting down a, a vacuum hopper, which I was very glad to see is in this pack. See, there is that bottle, note in a bottle, which adds memory to tools. But I just can't, won't seem to be able to pick it up, even though I've unloaded myself. 
So the vacuum hopper will definitely sort that problem out. The problem is I only have one ender pearl. And I don't know whether I should use it for this or for something else. Okay, I am now at level 44. Ah. I shall leave this pleasure for the time being. Let's try and do some mining. Okay, so what I can do with so my... It's got 9 minutes 25 seconds of... Uh, time sand well, that doesn't mean nine seconds of play and what i can do is turn it into a temporal tool and start collecting nuggets by mining ores i especially like doing that with coal so it would be nice to find more coal and I, I can't remember exactly how many, but I need several temporal ingots to progress with this mod. Ah, see, it's already stopped me. I can't mine anymore. So all I got from that nine minutes was six, not even one ingot. So yes. Clearly, it will take some time to get what I need, but that little spawner is going to really help with it. Hmm. Okay, but this was only one of the things I wanted to do today. The other thing is, I thought we might as well go, we might go to the nether and check it out. I don't think the nether is particularly dangerous in this pack. I, hopefully it's more like vanilla nether. And I do have my excellent armor. Uh, I want some materials. Mainly I would like a... Uh, some glowstone for lighting purposes see i've got this one ender pearl i have these ender lily seeds the problem is that they are i don't have endstone and i don't think there is any way of making endstone in this pack so normally i would be um melting an ender pearl and pouring it over obsidian so let's see, I just want to unload my some stuff. So for the nether trip. Okay, let's get rid of this, this, this. Uh, let's get rid of this and this and really I don't think we need wool. Or bones. And what do I have in this bag? Nothing particularly exciting. But still no reason to lose these things. Ah, uh, I really must organize myself. So I'm just going to plant these anywhere, well probably inside, oh this is the, I've been slowly working on the building, so the problem is I, it's difficult to find materials for it, like marble etc, which is why it's taking so long. I want to grow them. Uh, inside just in case a 
square is inside, just in case a creeper decides to blow itself up in front of my front door, which wouldn't be all that surprising. I really have to move out of here. There is no space for anything. So this will be very slow, but I mean, they will grow eventually. I might leave the computer, the game on overnight. Hmm. Where shall I make the... Where shall I make the portal so it doesn't drive me crazy? I might do it here since I've already made this sort of building which I'm not going to use now. Let me put my thing on because flying is definitely an advantage. Let's hope it's a nice place. It's always rather worrying. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, is that lucky or what? Ha! This is fantastic. <laughs> this is just so good. Okay, it's a dead end. Not sure I feel like taking the blazes on today. Oh my god, I might not have any choice. Did I even ah? Uh, imagine coming into the nether and not bringing a bow and arrows. Just mark this position. Ah, oh, no, 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 But I want glowstone. And some cell sand. It looks like it might be somewhere in here. This keeps happening to me, you know? I end up in these abbreviated Oh, I have my, I have my wings on me, so why not fly?
I mean, this is all very nice, but I would quite like to be able to get some leather rack. This mod... This mod also has... Um, you know what, I guess I should make the sound. Up. Yes. This mod, as I've just discovered, has the old fashioned cell shards. So that's probably going to be extremely useful for making our uh, spawners. And I think I might use it on a I might use that on a uh, blaze spawner. Alright, well, I am just going... I'll probably end the recording here. I'll just go around, gather, gather some uh, glowstone and some of this stuff and some leather rack. As one does. But yes, what an excellent episode. First I end up in it, first I find that excellent spawner and then I find myself and then I, you know, make a portal in a fortress. I'm very pleased with this. So, anyway, see you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope to see you next time.